Mic check, mic check. It's Tony and Chelsea live. Yeah, it is. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace. Chelsea knows all about Squarespace. It's the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or portfolio. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. Try Squarespace at squarespace.com slash Tony and enter the offer code photo news. Is that right? So, so put some code in there. They'll work. And um, you'll get 10% off your entire purchase. If you decide to pay for it, because they give you 14 days just to try it out. No credit card required. 14 days, no credit card required. You cannot share it when you're doing a trial. I don't know why, but still you can see it yourself and see if you like it. Yeah. Thanks Squarespace for hosting us, making all this possible. We'll look at some Squarespace hosted portfolios in just a minute. They're awesome. We both use them. You use them. This is a live show. While it's broadcasting every Thursday at five o'clock, you can communicate to us, ask us questions, make funny comments. One way to do it is on Twitter. Use the hashtag TC Live. Another way to do it, write comments in the fields on the YouTube Another page. way to do it, send mail, physical mail to us like a week, maybe two weeks early. Yeah, and include like a nice bottle of liqueur or something nice. Mm -hmm. uh, if you write a comment, our screener Siobhan in Philadelphia will be happy to send it over to us if you're funny. If you're up or to par, or, she might just yell at you. Yeah, she, <laughs> you have she to be careful. A lot of people. <laughs> you have to be careful. Okay, this isn't a kid's game. This is for real, guys. Speaking of Siobhan, here's a picture of Siobhan. Looking dope. Because today's theme is um, smartphones and Instagram. Yeah. So this is kind of the new trend in photography. We want to see your best smartphone picture, one picture per person. Send it up to sdp.io slash submit. Uh, if you're using what? Instagram yeah. and it's an Instagram specific picture, meaning it's been like square formatted and it's been successful, whether or not it was taken with a smartphone, you can send it up, but it needs to be a specific smartphone pic or specifically an Instagram picture or a smartphone picture. Chelsea. I'm going to Instagram right now. Oh, I like yeah. to, I always take a picture of my drink and then people are like, wow, this girl has drinks. This girl's so cool. Yeah, that seems to be what Instagram is for, like your food and beverage. Wow, a live Drink. Instagram during the show. Modern science this is so amazing. Next week, we're looking at family pictures in honor of Mother's Day. You guys should... Oh, yeah. Uh, Which, isn't that in like two weeks or is it next week? I don't really know, but I just felt like it was happening soon, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll there's, find out. There's a picture of a this family. This is a family. It's a good time. Just so you know, like what a family is. Yeah, they look like this. <laughs> they usually have people... Um, so this would be a good time for you to get your family shot. You can give it to your mom if your mom likes you still. And that's a nice gift for a cheapskate. Let's go. We have some new gear in the house. We have a... What is so funny, Justin? It's Siobhan's reaction to your cheapskate thing. Yeah, that's just funny. Uh, we have two new Canon cameras in, the T6i and the T6s. The T6i is the less expensive version, mostly because it doesn't have the 80s Casio LCD display on the top, but it's also lacking a little turny dial on the back, so you have to like hold buttons oh, down and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, it has some eye detection thing and like video auto focusing. The T6s runs uh, T6i runs you 750. The T6s runs you 900 bucks. Mm. I'm interested in these because we haven't been recommending the entry level Canon cameras because they've had the same sensors for like eight years or something, since the T3. You're not impressed with the Canon sensor. But these have a new sensor. They oh. have a 24 megapixel sensor, which is outrageous nice pixel density. Steak. I'm really curious to see if it keeps up with like the entry level Nikons and the Sony's, like the D3300, the A6000. Uh, they're not that cheap, but uh, they have articulating touch screens and everything. They are Wi-Fi. They're pretty decked out, especially for entry-level cameras, so we're excited to see if they actually take good pictures and how the focusing is. Okay. Uh, we also have a couple of the Pixel, so the Chinese company, the X800C. We've been gathering up radio-controlled flashes for a while now because it's suddenly gotten very cheap to set up multiple wireless flashes and control them, which means you could do a location shoot with great lighting, you know, multiple angles of light, and control everything from your camera instead of having to run around <laughs> to different uh, spots. So um, 
I actually couldn't find it on Amazon, but the X800C is pretty inexpensive and we'll have a full review coming, okay. comparing it against like the Photix and a couple other wireless flashes. Flashes, yeah. I uh, also wanted to just announce that Leica is introducing an updated version of their monochrome. People were talking about this in the comments before the show started. Yeah, you know, we, I don't think we're Leica people. But... You know what, I actually could be like a person if I could afford that. Yeah, and it, it's an interesting camera because it has a black and white sensor. So it doesn't have the bare red, blue, green filter on it. Yeah. And it actually, we found it took sharper pictures than were possible on other cameras simply because of that black and white sensor. They're cleaner, they're sharper, and it's a nice small package. Um, I couldn't find a price on this, but the previous version ran like seven, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. So the new one's going to be something more than that. And that's just seventy eight hundred, almost eight thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you could get just like any full frame thirty five millimeter camera for this. It is a, a thirty five millimeter sensor, but it's like. And then if you want a decent lens, you're in another. Like once you get a couple of lenses, you're spending twenty, thirty k on these cameras. So they're for a very specific type of person. Brad Pitt has one. You gotta be yeah. cool to have one. I'm just not cool enough. Yeah, and you don't even, they feel like a chunk of metal. But they're not comfortable in your hand in any way. Like they don't have a good grip or anything. They're a Leica. They also require like constant maintenance because it's a viewfinder camera. So like the focusing, it, it's you don't see through the lens. It doesn't have an electronic viewfinder. So it can slip out of focus. So you mm -hmm. have to, you're always sending it back to Germany. But uh, oh. for the people who love them, they absolutely love them. Um, this is an interesting picture, Tony. <laughs> yes. I wanted to cover, th this couple uh, had their picture used on the cover of a romantic novel, and they were quite upset about it. Um, <laughs> this book, A Gronking to Remember. What is gronking? Um, well, it's Rob Gronkowski, who's a, a tight end for the Pats, the Patriots, a, an American football team. Oh. And so it's this romantic fan fiction novel all about the Gronkowski, the Gronk. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's... and I, I do want to read one quote from it. Spike me, Daniel, through the goalpost of life. Well, actually, you should read that first line. You Spike covered... me, Daniel, through the goalposts of life. What? Like Gronk does. What? Do to me what Gronk does to a football. What? Here, on the bed. Yeah, so. That's like, whoo, that's too hot. I know, it's getting hot in <laughs> it's here. It's real hot, whoa. <laughs> so for some reason, this lovely couple wasn't thrilled. She wants him to throw her, <laughs> like on the ground. <laughs> this person is a big fan. Even, even the description for the Amazon book says, if you read one book about Rob Gronkowski this year, make it Growing Up Gronk. But if you read two books about Rob Gronkowski <laughs> this year, make the second one a gronking to remember. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well. I would have been thrilled if my picture showed up there. Yes. I don't look much like the gronk, unfortunately. I, I think know. I wish I looked like The gray hair would have. Oh, it's oh, a happy birthday cake. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. You guys. Happy birthday to you. I hate to be the ones to break. the show on the air, they'll, they'll charge you money. Huh? Uh, oh, happy, happy birthday. Um, please scoop me on your sati. <laughs> Guys, I hate to break this to you, but this is entirely too much tuna. But you ordered tuna. Is that not... This is too much tuna. Okay, I have to let you in on it. You're on a hidden camera show, Chelsea. There's a camera there, and a camera there, <laughs> oh my God. and a camera there. I didn't even notice all these cameras. <laughs> we got you. Do that's, I get to... That's way too much tuna. Don't you feel like that's too much tuna? This is... Way too much tuna. I, mean, I know you ordered a tuna sandwich. Can I eat it? But you still? probably weren't expecting so much tuna. <laughs> I didn't even order a tuna sandwich, so I wasn't expecting any tuna. But the fact that you give me this much tuna, I just didn't think I'd live to see the day. But yeah, you, that's edible. I, you know what? It smells like cat food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to buy a large amount of tuna, so I, I didn't I just wished go for, for a, like the highest grade. A better tuna, tuna sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You know me. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. Chelsea's 50 today. I am. You know, it's 50 a big feels five good. I think you're only as old as you feel. And 
I feel like I'm 30 again. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> All right, guys, what's your favorite social network? Go, Go to scp.io slash poll six and you tell us all about what you like. We'll check in later. For now, let's see if we have any. Uh, I got to Instagram photos. my my too much tuna. Yeah, you do that and I'll import some so pictures. People probably don't know, but too much tuna is a skit on one of our favorite comedy shows. The Crawl Show. Yeah, it's the Crawl Show. That is entirely too much tuna. OK, so this is definitely an Instagram picture from the square profile. Uh, I will say it's a simple composition. That's one of the things you want with these mobile devices because your phone, well, people are looking at them often on their phones too. So they're both, you're, you're creating it on a phone and you, people are consuming it on a phone. So it's a small screen. You can't have a whole lot of detail. This picture definitely qualifies for that. Uh, it's nice and simple. But at the same time, when I look at it, I don't see, I don't know what it's conveying. Maybe they, it feels like a little wintry to me, but otherwise I'm not sure what the message of it is. Um, Wait, what? We're looking at some Instagram pictures. Okay. I just, I just Instagram. so sorry. Uh, Chelsea on Instagram. Uh, what do you think of this picture, Chelsea? It's a bike lane. It looks like they went for a walk. I bet they were like, walking with the bike lane. Hashtag sunny day. <laughs> okay, so Are they this playing picture dodgeball? has more of a message. I... I, I guess it's dodgeball. It seems like they'd be really easy to get, but I don't know. Maybe dodgeball has some more rules there. Anyway, nice bright colors. I think you know immediately uh, what's going on, and this would definitely catch your eye because that's probably the biggest part of Instagram is making a picture that makes you stop scrolling. I for a would second. stop for that. I'd be like, how'd that guy do that? Yeah, even if you don't know what's going on, it's got bright colors. The message mm -hmm. of it is clear. It needs more filters. That's a beautiful picture. This is great. This is yeah. Instagram gold. Yeah, this really is. I would definitely give that a like. I can't do that. I would Instagram, ride that bike give all over here. town. Yeah, uh, beautiful shot. Definitely the best shot so far. Another picture of the, the trees in the sky. Is this like an Instagram thing? Tony, this is a life thing. People like trees. People like skies. Well, the Blue sky shining through and the contrast of the clouds definitely makes the composition a little interesting. Um, I don't know that it would make me stop. Ooh, this one's good. Yeah. This, this picture's good. beautiful. Um, composition in a square format like Instagram is very different. Yeah. Because uh, you can't follow the rule of thirds. But you can still do symmetry. And here they really played that square format. They found a square subject and lined it up perfectly. They clearly about centering themselves because mm -hmm. so many so many pictures where somebody's like a six inches off to the side yeah and it completely screws with it but here they did it just perfectly each one of those boxes is framed perfectly and it made for an interesting and artistic picture this looks like amsterdam how i miss you yeah uh i i like tells the you a lot about the location i like it the leading lines you have the tops of the buildings and then the reflection of the buildings and you kind of just have this wedge um, going into it's like making a vantage point. It's really beautiful. I like it. Yeah, it's got great lines and symmetry. It's a great example. Great contrast with it too. It's Instagram tastic. Yeah, and if you're trying to communicate that you're traveling, it does it really nicely. This picture has a really nice mood too, though. Uh, the it, there's a silhouette here, and I think the most interesting part is this guy. And I I almost wonder if it's too small, or if it's the kind of thing where you need to like zoom in a little bit. Um, especially with Instagram, oh. like, oh, I uh -oh. definitely want to keep that square. You don't be afraid to zoom in with your phone. Like we usually tell people not to do the digital crop. Uh, but often with your phone, you just need to like pull it apart and just zoom in. Your yeah. phones usually have plenty of megapixels. So by the time it gets to Instagram, it's still going to be nice and sharp. Uh, or if it's not, nobody notices because it's like this big. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So don't be afraid to zoom in a little bit. Our first crop of the night. Oh my gosh. What a moment. Love this. Not not square. Not quite Instagram, but it's something. Yeah, it doesn't. It can be a smartphone picture too. I just wanted to see people's best smartphone pictures. Smartphones are a real challenge because you're working with a prime lens. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, so you're not gonna. It's also a super wide angle lens usually, so yeah. you're not gonna get any great background blur out of it. Um, you don't get to zoom. You have to physically zoom, so you can't do things like really control the background except by moving yourself around. Here they found a completely clean background that probably moved around a little bit. The contrast between the bright sky and the shape of the uh, shopping cart adds a lot of interest to it. So I, I actually think it's a great shot. Finn, you did it. This is wonderful. Yeah, I like this shot a lot too. It definitely has a distinct mood. It's very Fargo. Yeah, and it leads your eye down the road and it feels like solitude to me. I love the composition of it. It's low contrast. Uh, there's no solid blacks or whites, but yeah. I think that's part of the intended style to make it look kind of aged. Yeah, that's a style. Kind of classic. Uh, I did not mean to set that to zero. Rude. <laughs> Love this. This guy looks like he's getting a massage. Yes, yeah, so I, I wouldn't even mind seeing it just a little tighter on the dog's face because that's just the subject. All right, so oh. they're conveying clearly that everybody should be jealous of them because they're just having an awesome time. Hanging at the pool on a nice sunny day. Beautiful primary colors. Uh, nice and bright. That... This isn't... I don't know. This, this isn't a camera phone picture. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a camera phone picture. Though it's at 4.5 millimeters. I think it must be a camera phone picture. Maybe it's a panorama. It must be a panorama. Hmm. Because it's too wide angle. Yeah, it's a camera phone. Okay. Oh, the C901. Like you recognize it? Yeah, well, I just looked it up. Ah. Wow, 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 Justin. Bringing it to the next level. Um, anyway. Looks good. Yeah, very cool shot and, and good evidence that you can get really bright and cool pictures with a camera phone. You can still see, like, even at ISO 50, the sky is, there's just a ton of noise. When you zoom back, you don't even. JD. Love this picture. <laughs> and it's empty. So there's some distinct storytelling in there. I actually wish it had more context, like we could see a little more of what's going on. Where is he? Is he in a hotel or is he driving to work? It seems like I see a lot of people drinking nips on their way to work. Uh, iPhone 4 picture showing us clearly where he is. Uh, what is that? Simplified Chinese, I think. Uh, so, a night nice shot turned out great. I feel like it's got good storytelling to it. Shoot, are there dogs outside? Yeah. Oh, oh man. I'll go grab them. Okay. Uh, See ya. Here we have a cat, and what is that next to the cat? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that thing. Great mood here with the waves coming in, the crashing in the blue sky, and the cat just sleeping. I love this shot. Fantastic shot, and what a lazy cat. To did not even bother because I know you had to be. It's not like it's a telephoto shot. You got within like a foot of that cat and it did not care. But it's having a great day. I love those cats. Sometimes when, when you're at a place where there's a working dock, you'll see just wild cats, especially in places like Hawaii. And they'll just wait by the docks for the fishermen to like toss them a fish or something. Those are my favorite cats. So here we have another square format Instagram style picture with just a spot of color. Chelsea, do you think this is, should they have zoomed in closer on the, on the ladybug? I like it. I like the negative space. Yeah, I do too. I think it's nice and peaceful. And, and I wish that stick weren't there, but what are you going to do? You're not going to edit it out or something. It's Instagram, but. I think so. it's fine. It leads you to the ladybug. It really smells like tuna in here. <laughs> I got to say. <laughs> you, you could. Eat it? You could, yeah, you could just, you just eat that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could move into it. Is there no mayo? There There's no want. mayo in there, is There's there? There's mayo in there. Ah. Why? Just curious. Yeah, I made it proper. Of course, you got to put mayo yeah, in there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's just a, an impressive amount of tuna, honey. <laughs> Would you say it's too much? It's bordering on just, too much. I thought about going further. <laughs> It's like six cans of tuna. <laughs> um, I don't know why. This is 
like a cool composition, but all I can do is read that text on the screen. That's so I just keep reading it. I can't because my eyes aren't that good. That's what happens when you turn fifty. Um, but otherwise, it's a it's a beautiful shot. Uh, hey, Siobhan, is there people saying anything interesting while we go through these pictures? Feel free to jump in anytime. Are they saying something interesting, or are they just posting vulgar emojis again? <laughs> Lots of vulgar emojis. <laughs> Um, a couple of questions. Um, lots of jokes about the sandwich being, uh... Too much to Oh my know? god, what was our... No, what was our hashtag for Lightroom? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it Adobe Sandwich or something? Oh, Auto, auto Sandwich. Auto Sandwich. Auto yeah. Sandwich. <laughs> the Auto Sandwich worked. feature. <laughs> Darn it, I forgot it. Alex was the first one to that. I thought it was great. Nice work, Alex. Um, question... Would either of you like to go to North Korea, provided security would be probably guaranteed? <laughs> he did just kill like a dozen high-ranking officials. Uh, but I would definitely go there and have the Dennis Rodman experience if that were an option. I probably wouldn't. Just because, like, you have to be polite when you go there. I know I'd want to be polite, but I don't want to be polite to a horrible person. I'd just rather pass. Well... You're right. You have to ask yourself, would you have gone to hang out with Hitler? Because it's not like he's better than Hitler. There. He's just he's just not as, like, capable. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not as good at being Hitler. He's C-grade he's Hitler. He's equally evil. And so it would be compelling to be able to have some insight into modern history. But at the same time, I, I wouldn't... I don't like the guy. No. So, good question. That is a really good question. Anything, you really got me thinking. Yeah, would you hang out in North Korea? I would definitely visit security. the people of North Korea, but I It's assume... like depressing. They don't have food or water. They just have this facade. It would make me really bummed. I guess for fo like photography if I was going to spread the message, but I feel like that's been done. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Any that's other questions, one. Siobhan? What would you do, Siobhan? Would you go? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it would be fascinating. But would you like hang out with Kim Jong Un? Would you have a drink? No, oh God, no, God, no. No, so just hanging out with the people. I don't know why I immediately thought you'd be hanging out with the president of the country. That's probably not an option. Yeah, that was not the question. I would certainly hang out with the people. I, I immediately thought of Dennis Rodman. That's why. Yeah, photo for photojournalism alone, it would be incredible. Yeah, I'd be down with that. You can't. They, you can't even. I think they take your memory cards and stuff. Yeah. No, I think they would just be really controlling about what you actually <laughs> photograph and publish. That's but, probably yeah. true. Why don't you go? Um, Patrick wants to know if you, Tony, left Microsoft for photography, or did photography come after, or were you always into photography? Um, yeah, I've always been into, well, I've been into photography since like 98 or mm -hmm. so, and um, like a lot of people who earn money with photography, they have some other gig too. So I was uh, mostly, since from 2004 on, I, I was exclusively writing books and doing photography, like writing Microsoft books and doing photography. Before then I had like a conventional job. Um, yeah, so both at the same time. It takes a while to be able to make money you with left photography. Oh, did I leave Microsoft you for did. photography? You did. You left that gig for photography. Yeah, I, I, I did. They, like, they offered me Windows 10 Inside Out to write that particular book because I wrote the Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 Inside Out books. And I was quite pleased to just say, no, thank you. And I've not followed anything about Windows 10 or the next version of Windows. Do not care. <laughs> I'm happy to just kind of wash my hands of that whole Microsoft world. I'll say it's, it's sometimes you hear me like badmouth Adobe or Canon or somebody, and it's such a relief to be able to say, this sucks. Because I worked for Microsoft for 20 years, including writing like marketing material and stuff, and you don't get to say, even if you're writing a book about Windows 8, you can't be like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't do it. Yeah, you have to toe the company like, line. Your editors were pretty like they had very strict guidelines about what you could and could not say yeah yeah so it at this point you know people like scott kelby have sponsorships from canon or, and adobe and 
that's uh, do you think they have to look nice. over his books though uh, probably... well i know he can't say anything bad that's true yeah you just can't so it sounds nice to get that money but at the same time i i don't envy the censorship i, I like you having like freedom. a freedom of voice you're a free man. to be able to just badmouth whoever i want just to be honest yeah because you just can't do that when you're working for a big company that's true. Yeah. so i did leave microsoft well, put it here. Good for you, Ralph. Being free of the man. Yeah. Look at a few more uh, pictures here. Smartphone picture definitely tells a story of like a cool spring day. Just people, people kind of hang hanging out, chilling. Yeah, you learn something about the location. It's a good shot. Okay. I like this one. This is an artistic shot. I love the geometric shapes in it, the bright primary colors. Uh, fantastic. I like that one a lot. Ah, a nice shot, cool. even with a little bit... I like... Oh, wait, a D90. That's not a smartphone. Oh, uh, wow. well, he did crop it square. Maybe it's a good Instagram picture. Maybe. I like what the ground did for the picture. <clears throat> yeah, that adds a lot to it. Uh, good, so they waited for a good moment here. The carriage moving through the scene definitely adds a ton to it. Beautiful picture. Loving this. Uh, Liking it. Yeah. Uh, fantastic shot. Obviously converted into black and white, but I love the reflections and the, the trees and just the, the beautiful lines. It's a, a fantastic artistic picture. And it's the kind of thing you can absolutely do with a smartphone. Mm -hmm. You know, you there are things you can't do. You can't get a good picture of an Osprey flying. <laughs> You're just not going to do it. You can't get the classic headshot with a blurred background. Yeah. You just need lenses for that stuff. But you can get beautiful artistic shots like that. So sometimes you just have to kind of change the way you're shooting. Um, Chels, you should plug this book because we've been yeah, working I on Yeah, I should it. because Solid. I worked my butt off so hard today. We finished <clears throat> up this book, Lightroom 6 slash CC. It's eight ninety nine dollars if you pre-order. And I just want to say you get 14 hours of video. It's like the best deal out there. You get a group, you get to be a part of a group where we talk about like what we should do differently with our pictures in Lightroom. And I also ask people what they want to learn about and then I make YouTube videos. Um, yeah, so $8.99 is a steal for the ebook. The print book is going to be like between, it's like about $20, $25, something like that. Yeah, I think it, if you go to scp.io.store, I think we're still selling it for like $18.99, but it's we had to raise to the list. Price twenty five dollars. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. Because the book Cause size went up. I just want to say we are the underdog in this fight. I am so eager to get to number one because I know that they didn't put out the beta so that the inside people could get their books out first. Everyone else has their books out first. We got Lightroom Six when you did, so we've been just like working all morning, all night to get this out, and uh, everyone's had a head start. So I can't wait to pass them and be like, screw the man. We're going to get it. We're going to win. Anyway, it's basically ready tomorrow. We'll be Siobhan's the... smiling because she knows I'm super competitive. I'm like, I'm going to win. You'll never take me down. <laughs> tomorrow, the, the like pre-order phase for the ebook will end. So the price will go up. Yeah. But we're also publishing the ebook and everything. So get in now while it's early. If you had the Lightroom 5 book, you'll see a discount if you're logged in at scpcommunity.com. I'm so excited. Off. I'm like, yeah. oh, whenever we put something out. It's a out. big deal to put a book out. Yeah, I'm I always get excited. And there is a special dedication in this book, which I think people will really love. And it's amazing. Super amazing. Uh, let's go over. Oh, it's on Amazon now, too. You can go to scp.io slash USLR. Just the paperback. The ebook will probably be up tomorrow or during the weekend sometime. But you can pre-order the paperback. One. If you just want to do Amazon. F the man. Uh, Sorry. Your comments. Do you want to read that? Oh, I found this on another video and I thought it was really funny. Northrop's, in my opinion, elitist snobs, but I'm pretty surprised at their statement about the D7200. In what way are they We just like snobs? the D7200. He said, they seemed too slick and fake, but especially with Tony. He's a major canon freak and he doesn't always know what he's talking about. Also, Tony is a high class pimp vibe. High class pimp vibe. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just hurt my ankle 
I just tripped and hurt it and had to use a cane for a while and I had yeah. a bit of a limp. But... Yeah, and you were cold, so you needed that fur coat. So yeah. So I don't, I could see how the confusion would be there, but. Yeah, not technically a pimp. No, just you have a cane and. But yeah, people think we're elitists. I wonder why. Oh, yeah. A few people have said that we're like snobs. I think it's because we're in like Connecticut and everyone's really preppy here and then everyone thinks we're a douche, but it's just how people dress here. Yeah, and, and part of it is we're. Like a lot of people just say that whatever camera comes out is the best, but we often will point out like a more expensive camera does more stuff. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, snobs. Like it just does more stuff. Just well, know what it does and what it doesn't do and then make your choice with your budgets. We just tell you what things do. But yeah, people are like, if you say that the full frame camera is better, they're like, Shh, snobs. It's like, it's just, it's just better. It's more expensive. Of course it's better. Hmm. Well, I don't care. I'm going to live my life. Melvin De La Cruz says, Chelsea, que pasa? Te ves un poco molesta. <laughs> so now people are asking me what's wrong and why I look sad in Spanish. <laughs> That's all. It just cracks me I up. I think he was people. actually joking. <laughs> it could be, yeah. Let's get more languages. Let's just limit it to Spanish because that's all we really understand. Why are you inbreeding with your daughter? <laughs> that's your daughter, not your wife. I don't know what he's talking about, but I just want to tell you guys there's no inbreeding going on in this house unless we have mice, and those mice are inbreeding. But I don't know why I'm bringing that up. No, I don't know either. Uh, I do know a joke about Oklahoma, though, because this fellow's from oh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma Herper. Uh, I don't know. What keeps Texas from falling into the Gulf of Mexico? I don't know. Oklahoma sucks. Oh, that's a really bad Texas joke. Did you learn? <laughs> Not in Texas. Of course, we think that's being no, passed around people, New England. People in other places <laughs> no. don't think that joke's good. <laughs> yeah, but they do know that Oklahoma sucks. I don't even know. I don't even know Oklahoma. It's not. It's not any worse than Texas. <laughs> it's certainly not any worse than. Wait, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. You're not just gonna go past this one, cause what well, next one? Alistair <laughs> says, "Ha ha, I love your New Zealand accent. Come over and let's talk while you give us a piano concert." I know you can play. My New Zealand accent is dope. It is the best. Are you ready to bust it out? No, 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 no. It'll happen when it happens. You got it. It's better when it's natural. And also, no, but it's, it's got to happen. I could give you a really, really terrible piano concert, and I think you'd like it. <laughs> terrible? Terrible. Come on. You got to say good. one word in a New Zealand accent. Brit. Brit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Brit. Let's roll. Oh, let's see our poll results. Yeah, let's see. Let's see their favorite social network. I bet it's going to be MySpace. We got a real old school crowd. <laughs> MySpace. I I always forget which ones actually exist. Oh, Flickr. I forgot Flickr existed. Wait, <laughs> what is Flickr. other? They just like some other well, thing? Well, these are all the other ones. I think they're just being, oh. Google Plus. <laughs> oh, that's, no. I on. forgot that one existed. Come on, don't criticize them. Reddit, Tumblr, uh, yeah. So, Facebook and first, and then. Oh, you Instagram think second. Reddit Twitter is a social down, network? Huh? huh? I, Twitter's my favorite social you, network. You've been tweeting. Twitter. You've been tweeting. Yeah, Not a lot I of like it. Like Twitter. It's good for people with a short attention span. They like span. Facebook. Um, and we do have another poll too. Um, we had two polls. Yeah. What sort of smartphone do you have? So it's like, it's just okay. Android iPhone and what? Windows. I hope we get options. a good one. I didn't put Blackberry on there. I hope we get a nice. Just curious how people, what people are using. I have a Razor. <clears throat> a Motorola Razor. Uh, <laughs> those those are bringing, awesome. I do not, I had a Razor. I do not understand why my phone is so big now. I'm it, bringing it clamshells so back. <laughs> It, when you talked on the phone, it fits your face mm -hmm. real nice. It fits that your face. Nice. It's a curve. I had the flat battery. To make oh, it extra damn. tiny. Yeah. You were fancy. I had my like green and light green texting. I was like, what you up to, Siobhan? That was another <laughs> thing with those little keypads. You could text without looking at the screen. You could feel it. Yeah, I could touch text. You could feel it. You can't do that now. You got to look at the screen. Yeah, it takes two hands. That's I back one when hand men text. were men and people were people. Yeah. Those were the good old days. Being 50 these days is hard, you know? Uh, Squarespace is our sponsor. We should take a look at no, a they're not. Squarespace hosted portfolio. How about this one from, uh, you, could you just pronounce that name for me real quick, Charles? No problem. And it's a, uh, Nova. 
Uh, what do you think? Weddings, people, or Dang, places? Dang, that's a sexy bride. It's like, she got married, but she's still looking. <laughs> she's still looking. These are beautiful shots. I love the full screen interface. Well, let's check out weddings. That joke was good. I bet Digital Rev will take it later. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> he was going to take it anyway. Take it. <laughs> take it. If you need my jokes, you need the help. <laughs> um, some beautiful wedding shots. Just a ton of variety here. Uh, These are gorgeous. Yeah, this definitely compels me to keep scrolling. I would love to see... Ooh, I like the one of the man. This I always say this. This is a great shot. The scattered layout does not work for me because... I don't know. It just doesn't align the pictures in a way that makes you look at all of them. So I would do less pictures and then do like more of a grid. What do you think, Tony? Um, I I usually don't like this type of layout. You like it now. But I like the photos Traitor. here. He, he, the smaller pictures um, should be small. Like this picture just kind of provides some atmosphere. Mm -hmm, this picture mm -hmm. provides some atmosphere. But the vertical pictures with the expressions... Uh, are bigger and they kind of deserve it. So he's used the format really wisely. This person really is wisely. creative as hell. Let me tell you that that foot under the bench picture, I've never seen that before. Yeah, it, it is so rare to see great, uh, unique wedding photos. This one is a shot that I don't think I've seen before. I've either. seen that one, but I've never seen the foot one. Mm. So there are a couple of things we could probably pare down here. Like this shot probably doesn't fit in. A lot in of flowers. And, uh, you know, here we have like three pictures of the same couple like next to each other, I would probably just mix that up and put one of these up here a little bit. Uh, but yeah, overall, a really attractive. Lucky. Yeah, I think uh -huh. you, you've got a good portfolio here, and I think people looking for a wedding photographer wouldn't hesitate to hire you. Um, they, the way they spelled photography, I love it. That's a language. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what is that like? Finnish. Um, I like the purple background too. Yeah, that's a nice color. So is these this are square space. It is square. I space. didn't know that you could do that. This person needs to teach me a thing or two. Yeah, you can change the colors on anything. They they have great templates that work on mobile devices yeah. automatically, yeah. make it very simple. But you can customize everything to your heart's content. You can change CSS if you're into that. So okay. you can make anything happen Good if you have the know. patience. But you don't doesn't require any patience. Um, okay. I so, love the picture of her in the bleachers up top middle. Yeah, that's, that's a great cool. shot. Most of these seem like candid portraits. This one's clearly more pose, kind of an environmental shot, but uh, all of them seem real solid. Plenty of variety in there. Uh, places. Great. Oh, I love the mood in this shot and the way it's just kind of mixed in. Some like this one needs to be a bit bigger, I think, to appreciate it just for the format. Mm. This one is such a simple composition; it works really well. Most of these work really well. Uh, that one just I, I wish you could make it like just wider anyway great shots let's find out I guess this is probably him Her. oh you are sexist <laughs> so sexist uh, from Norway good so you have a picture of yourself and words in multiple languages wow oh she's from Latvia, Latvia. I knew people from Latvia they were my neighbors Great portfolio, Ennis. Justin and, loves and that. Justin, I mean, Justin would be impressed. We've got prices in there. Fifteen hundred knock is like a great. I don't know what that is. Tony, <laughs> you're so ignorant. It makes me crazy. Thanks for sharing your website. Uh, let's see if I. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, they had some stuff to say. Yeah, she said, "I love Squarespace." Tony's ignorant. <laughs> Chelsea, take over. <laughs> uh, she's from Latvia. I am always behind your time zones. I suggest Squarespace to all my photography schoolmates. Okay, thanks for sharing your portfolio. Hey, Squarespace is that. an awesome place to get a great portfolio, make your pictures look just great. You can go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio. Use some coupon code. You know, always you not great it. about the coupon you codes. Coupon code. And you'll get 10% off if you decide to sign up after the 14-day free trial. We yeah. both use it for portfolios. It works yes. great. There's a whole suite of mobile apps that you can use to see your statistics on your phone, to view your pictures, even offline, so you can show people your pictures when you don't have an internet connection. Do you know what like my most popular pages are? What pages? My landing page, 
<clears throat> People usually don't even dig into that, which I'm offended. ChelseaNorthup.com, check it out, dig in. And my about page, because people want to know how old I am, but I lied on there, because I knew you'd do that. Does One it not ahead. say 50? I think I changed it since, because everybody was saying I was like, yeah, I changed it. I changed it a lot. It's fun to do. I put an ad on there, because you guys know how I love plugging. <laughs> it's <laughs> my hobby. Plugging. <laughs> Plug plugging. Look at that. Me, 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 me. I always think like if anyone goes here, they're going to think I'm a narcissist, but I'm really just lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Okay. I'm Great shots. Uh, Justin, has anybody said clever stuff on Twitter or do, are there relevant do tweets people say clever that we should things? talk about? Uh, some guy wants to know what the view on the mini magnetic lenses that you buy to fit on your smartphones to extend their zoom capabilities. What's your take on that? I've never used one. Justin's wife uses them. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, she does. And she gets great, like, uh, still wildlife shots with them, oddly enough. Really? Yeah, like, they get that, that telephoto? Yeah. It's uh, not terrible. It's not terrible. Yeah, that that's worth checking out. <laughs> I just imagine that as, like, the review in quotes. Like you're not post- terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> um. Yeah, I haven't used them, but, uh, and I always think, like, I would never, I just, because I have cameras, I, if I were pulling something out and, I'd, like, rigging it up, I would just grab a real camera at that point. Mm-hmm. But it is so nice to have it on your phone automatically because you can just immediately post it and share it. And I wish you could do that with cameras. They just don't make it that easy to get It'd it It'd be really cool if they just had a little wheel on the back and you could just switch little lenses. Yeah. Yeah, I think optically the camera has to get bulkier at some point. Um, think about it, camera. Yeah. Okay. Siobhan, you have any questions or Siobhan, comments for us? How are you? Yeah, sure. I'm well. Thanks, Chels. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had some follow-up questions about your like computer video from uh-huh. this week. Oh. Um, you might have covered this already, but which 4K TV would you recommend as a monitor? I have a diplopia and can only view things from a distance. I don't know. From a distance. Sorry. I just haven't like reviewed 4K monitors. Okay, well, you know, I appreciate your honesty, and that's why you're my favorite YouTuber. Yeah, that that would be hard. Like, I'd have to acquire multiple 4K monitors <laughs> and set them up in some sort money. of environment, and I just haven't done that, so I'm sorry I can't answer that. Um, I guess a bunch of people were, like, upset that you didn't talk about calibrating your monitor in that video. I told them they should Google it. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll talk about that, but I just feel like there's, like, bigger things to be upset about, you know? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I should have addressed it because I have strong feelings about it that... Oh, you do? I don't... It, it's very expensive to get the calibration equipment that you need. No, it's not. What do you mean it's not? I looked it up once because I wanted to do a video on it. You can get them on Amazon for like 50 bucks or something. Yeah, even 50 bucks seems kind of high. No. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> we have some debate here. Uh... But I will say, I switched from calibrated monitors, which you have now. Uh, yeah, I have You have those high-end, calibrated, professional-grade monitors. Yeah, I'm a pro. Um, to non-calibrated monitors. And I really never noticed the difference. Now, you want calibrated monitors if you're doing your own printing. And then they only do any good if you take the profile from your printer and you calibrate your monitor to your printer. And then that can be helpful. But we don't do our own printing. We outsource no, it all. We outsource. Yeah. Uh, we send it off to MPix, and then they look at the pictures and they use their artistic sense to get it looking good. So, so should you calibrate your monitor if you're sharing your images digitally? Uh, Some people's are way off, though. Yeah, but uh, the people looking at it don't have calibrated monitors. And the thing about a properly calibrated monitor is you really true. need to have it in a kind of a controlled environment. You need to have like a a shade over it that's blocking ambient light. Um, you need to be worried about the other lights that you have in your room. It's it's this big, long process. I don't think it's worth it for most people. Instead, what I recommend is setting the white balance manually on your pictures okay. and uh, in post-processing and then looking at the histogram to adjust the contrast. And that will give you more accurate results than calibrating it. So for me, calibration is for designers 
and people printing themselves with a calibrated printer. And for the rest of us, it's just not worth the time and money because it's all bang for your buck. Yeah, I do our so book it's layout. Good. So it's a nice that. to have, yeah. but there are better places to spend your money than in a high-end calibrated monitor. I'd rather, you'd, you'd get more out of it if you just spent more on your processor or memory. Or so that's just my opinion. It's okay. not that it's bad. I just don't think it's worth it for your This is your opinion. Yeah. The man that put six cans of tuna in one sandwich. <laughs> Properly calibrated monitors are really expensive, like on the order of 10 times more expensive than a regular monitor. I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, most people have Android phones, but almost the same number of people have iPhones. And I thought it was more, more like uh, one iPhone to two Android phones. So it's interesting to see that Android and iPhone are pretty close. Mm. I'm actually surprised that seven people have <laughs> Windows phones. Not the most popular platform. Poor Microsoft. They keep trying. I like those people. They're rebels. They do what they want. <laughs> Let's look at a few like more pictures. Me. These are smartphone and Instagram pictures. Love this one. Yeah. Beautiful composition. The line runs right through. Mm -hmm. Even if it was really small, you could get a, a great sense for it. The just It's almost abstract. Yes. Fantastic job. Five stars. Wow, this is great. I want to be with you. Yeah, so storytelling is a key element with a lot of these pictures because you want to communicate to your friends what's going on. We can see this guy's happy to be in Toronto. Maybe he's fighting with that. Maybe he's like, what? You think you're better than me? <laughs> it's open to interpretation. Size doesn't matter that much. <laughs> uh... These were both taken with, that's, okay. Public that's neither a smartphone center. picture nor a. Uh, <gasps> this is so cute. Yeah, oh, okay. maybe it's a, a baby Robin, I'm not sure, but. So cute. Yeah, you can actually get really close to babies because there's not a lot that they can do and maybe they don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but... That applies to human babies as well. <laughs> they can't do shit. <laughs> but it's so easy to take candy from them. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, perfect shot. a baby candy? Nicely focused on the eyes. Um, very cool. Nicely done. It's irresponsible. And quite frankly, taking candy from that baby would be good. Baby shouldn't have candy. So. Siobhan's nodding and agreeing. You guys can't see it, but I see here and we're on the same page with this one. Okay. The moon. Chris Henry must have some sort of rig hooked up to his telescope. Oh, Chris. I know him. You know he Chris? actually, he lives very close. Close to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the very few advantages of living that close to the moon. I will say this is the best iPhone shot I've ever seen of the moon. <laughs> that is really spectacular. Um, so yeah, this is an example of somebody hooking up fantastic optics to an iPhone. What if he's an astronaut? Dustin, can you Google if this man's an astronaut? <laughs> Uh, this is a dead dove. No, it's not dead. <laughs> it's just resting. Beautiful shot. Ah, another great use Colorful. of composition here. They put it right in the window. Don't think I didn't notice that. This person pays attention to detail. Yeah, not a smartphone just picture, like but it is cropped square and uh, cropped just square. beautiful use of geometry and lines. Kyle Wolf. Kyle. Uh, with his A7. Kyle is actually a femme Nazi, I learned today. <laughs> So that's good for you, Kyle. So the nice long exposure turns these waves into a, almost a Smoke. fog, yeah. three and a half seconds, and yeah, you can see here. And then desaturated into black and white. Great shot, tells a story, uh, would work great on Instagram. This, Eric. okay, I'm gonna guess this is somewhere like Sweden or something like that. They have all this stuff going on. Buildings, water, mountains. Beautiful color, great use of foreground subjects. Another nice. Instagram shot here. Nice. Um, here for me, the focal point is this street lamp here. Mm. Uh, it's so bright, and the lines of the building draw your eye right to it because you kind of start here, but then you slide down. And um, because it's so bright, because of the contrast with the dark background, that's where your eye goes immediately. Yeah. It's, it's very red. Yeah, I might actually. Oh. oh the mic go on. Go up to develop. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay, you know tricks. Don't question you. I, I like it. Yeah, though that's the color is more natural now. I'm not sure that's better though. 
uh, anyway, very cool shot. <gasps> this looks uh, like, like Turkish. Turkey or Greece. Yeah. yeah, this is the way they serve tea. And like every shop you go into, they will just give you apple hand tea. This apple tea. It's like you could be homeless there and just live off of apple tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a great Instagram shot because they're showing us where they are and what they're doing because this is unique to the place. It's also a good shot of the, the kind of hourglass shape of the uh, tea glass. I was trying to see the reflection of the person in there. Anyway, great shot. A feather. Uh -huh. Yeah, another oh, really nice, nice composition. So the diagonal line there works mm -hmm. much better than if it were perfectly vertical or yeah. horizontal. Oh. Yeah, beautiful mood yeah. in that one. Great silhouettes. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, this seems like a stock image to me. Yeah, this is beautiful. I can see it's taken with a phone, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you did it. Great eye, great use of Wonderful. lines. Wonderful. You follow me on Instagram, I'll follow you back. <laughs> Another great shot. Uh, also kind of telling a story about where they are, but in an interesting way other than just saying, I am someplace in France or whatever. <laughs> Somewhere high in France. <laughs> really cute. Sassy baby. Yeah. Great shot. I love his expression. Oh. One of these European squirrels. I love these squirrels. The knots. Very cute. He must have been very How close. Did he it does get look that like an Instagram picture. This I feel it needs something like a person in it, something for scale. It's I, kind of gray. I still like it's it. The kind of thing you could easily skip past on Instagram. And this could use a good crop. This is one of those times I think you will just want to zoom in. Uh, take it with the Nexus oh, oh 4, but... You are bold, sir. Let's yeah, see. The, the key elements here are... The... Get that window in there. Yeah, I was just thinking about backing that off a little bit. Yeah, I so. thought maybe you would. Just go like that. Hey, that was a great choice. Zoom it in. Um, and so there are some apps that will allow you to adjust the exposure. Here, I would have liked to have seen it just exposed a little bit Shadows lower. Shadows up a little? Okay. And, yeah, don't be afraid. Oh, vibrance. One of the benefits of using your smartphone is you can easily adjust things. Like there are a ton of apps that allow you to just crank up the saturation, add mood and post-processing. So take advantage of that. Do the post-processing thing. Um, whew, we got a lot of pictures. Okay. Uh, wow, people like this one. We thought this would be controversial. But wow, this picture's nice. Yeah, it, like it, it really is. Yeah. Uh, nicely done. Lovely. Beautiful God rays. God. Uh, it's, I guess it's square, but it seems very, very like HDR ish. It was clearly. Yeah, how did they do it? They did it. Might be done with a smartphone. This is very naked and afraid. <laughs> Catching up on this season of Naked and Afraid, which is. Who's this lonely? The number guy? one way to learn what people's butts actually look like. It's a good show for butts. Yeah, yeah. If you're into butts that have been bitten by a thousand mosquitoes. I, that's just my style. Yeah, there's nothing attractive about those butts. I beg to Especially differ. Especially by like day eight. I beg to differ. Day 20 butt. <laughs> <laughs> day 20 butt. That's something I like. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Okay, let's look at the sad dog. Why is he so sad? I don't know. He's got so many babies. He He's looks got, like, like um, cool the bed. dog well, version of the Fiona the Apple there. criminal video. Right? He's like, I've been a bad, bad dog. Why'd you go past it? <laughs> Beautiful shot. I love the colors here. This looks like a Windows desktop background i noticed ever since i had my birthday you haven't been listening to me <laughs> you're 50 now who cares <laughs> okay uh beautiful picture of the cherry blossoms definitely tells a little bit about what's going on i hate cherry blossoms and i feel like it's <laughs> wow great shot yeah. shooting into the sun you all often don't have the best lenses in these smartphones and so you'll get a lot of flaring and stuff yeah. but you can use you can that. make it work yeah when you're make shooting into a light you will see lots of this kind of flaring but it can actually add something to the pictures beautiful shot nicely done um is this for real guys i don't know this it doesn't do anything for me because i don't there's no subject in it it's either really artistic or really not yeah, maybe if it were in the context of other photos, but I don't understand what's going on. I still on. liked it. It made me feel something. Okay, um, so DSLR shot cropped square, which I guess makes it Instagrammy, but I don't know. It doesn't have any filters or anything. Hey, let me just it. ask them a question. This is New York, right? <clears throat> yeah. That's what I thought. 
Just making sure it's like. That was changed. your question? No, no, no. My question was if we go to New York like soonish, will people meet us for a photo walk? Okay. And so I don't you know. You can answer Maybe any questions will. because I'm not sure they will. <laughs> People are way shyer than, than you might think. No, no, actually, people think we're not shy. And then they meet us and we're very shy. Oh, I just mean we've invited people out a few times and I find that people... We're so lonely? Yeah, yeah, like we get, we get we'll get we invite people out and then they'll be like, well, you know, if you're ever in Providence, <laughs> let me know. But we're like, we're an hour away from Providence. It's like a 50-minute drive. We're just not that far. People kind of want us to come to them. <laughs> Maybe if we actually go into New York. We could just travel a lot and just visit one person at a time. Yeah, that seems to be what people want. <laughs> Won't you come to Oklahoma? It's like, if you happen <laughs> to be in my family room, we could meet up. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll see. Maybe someone would meet us in New York. Siobhan probably would. Justin might. That's a crowd. <laughs> Great shot. I just cropped it down a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, you did. And you know what, Tony? I like it a lot. This is why you're a pro. Uh, Siobhan and or Justin, do you guys have any questions for us? Siobhan? You're on. <laughs> oh, She's I, I can't hear you. Maybe the camera was on Justin. I was giving him the chance, but I'll take it. Oh, you take it. Um, what's the flash you guys have on the table? It's just garbage. We, we talked about it. It's the Pixel X800C. It's a, a Chinese uh, radio flash. We can get multiple of these flashes and control them from your camera. I, so we're going to be doing a full test of different radio trigger systems like those from Cactus and those from Yongno and seeing just what the best bang for your buck is for multi-flash setups. Okay. Um, do you guys ever take a test photo before you go out to see if you have the right settings, or are you just too pro? Uh, uh, no, I take a lot of test photos. Yeah, I think Not that's above anything. the most professional thing to do. Yeah, you got to be prepared, right? Because you just you'll forget that you have the exposure compensation of three stops, <laughs> or you, that you have the camera in the wrong mode. Like you have to take a test shot, and if like we're going out to shoot osprey or something, like you don't know when that osprey is going to come at you. Mm. You got to be prepared, so you take a test shot beforehand of a branch or, or something. Or I'll just manhandle my camera at my hip and accidentally hit all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, that definitely happens. Always the best happens. thing they did. That's how pro I am, guys. On the cannons, <laughs> is put that little button in there. No, Actually, that's supposed, one big difference between these two. We're supposed to pretend we're like better than human, professionally. Oh yeah, yeah. I just always know. I just know. This button, this camera doesn't have the button in the yeah, middle. That might be worth crap. the extra hundred and fifty bucks. You got to get that button. Siobhan, tell me more. I will. Um, Chelsea, why don't you look sad today? <laughs> I tried. I mustered a good amount of sadness, and then I melted it away with a margarita. <laughs> Drinking is good. She pushed it all deep I down inside. I pushed it deep inside. I won't feel that for another week or two. Siobhan. Yep. And then the crying week starts. And then the cry. My monthly cry. <laughs> Oh man, that would be rough. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I'm a beginner and I want to take home family portraits of my family. How big of a backdrop should I buy to fit a family of five? Oh. All under five foot five. At least they're not super tall, but you still need it to be wide. And it's always more tall than wide. Backdrop. I would go with a natural backdrop if you don't already have a portfolio. I would just take them outside. Yeah, that's kind of the new thing. But if you do want, uh, like, a, a white backdrop, people don't really do, like, the painted backdrops that much anymore. But, <laughs> I, I mean, you could fit them on an 8-foot backdrop. It, it's, there's so many factors involved. It, it, it depends on the length of the room, too. Because that's if true. you have a long room, then you could use a, a 200-millimeter lens. And if you use a telephoto lens for those five people... They're going to be standing, you know, six feet from the backdrop. So if you have a telephoto lens, then you don't need as wide of a backdrop. It depends is what we're trying to say. The distance you have from your subject. The distance from them to the background. Yeah, the distance from them to the background. Uh, my recommendation would just be going natural and going outside. <clears throat> it's easier to control. It's less expensive. Yeah. Um, so if you have plenty of room between yourself and them, anyway... The, the more distance you need between the anyway. subjects and the backdrop, 
yeah. the bigger the backdrop. So if you get a 10 foot backdrop, then you can have them farther from the backdrop and the picture will look better. If you don't have that much space and you need to go with an eight foot backdrop and you're using a sort of wide angle lens because you can't stand that far away, then you'll have to have them close to the backdrop. So there's this no one rule. You can do it with an eight foot backdrop as long as you have plenty of room in front of them. But like Chelsea said, you might just consider not doing the backdrop. Thing. I just would it's kind of skip dated. it. Siobhan, what's up? Um, do, do, do. I agree with going outside because I think that staged family photos in like a studio are always the cheesiest looking things. But people do still want those things. People do. I know. Yeah, I it's know. for the grandma or something. It's for the people. <laughs> they bum me out. Um, are you guys more comfortable in front of or behind the camera? Behind. Behind all the way. Yeah, definitely behind the camera. People always think I'm comfortable in front of the camera because I've modeled for you, but every time I'm like, all right, pretend you're someone else. Just pretend you're a model. Mm -hmm. And it works. But yeah, behind. Yeah, same here. We're both on different sides of it, but yeah, we're both self-conscious people who don't like being in front of the camera. <laughs> we just have to do it. It's uncomfortable. Let's look at a few more pictures. This one's very abstract. I like this it's very one much a lot. about the primary colors. I love it too. Yeah, just Hashtag very simple. wonderful. Be my friend. What's this man doing? Is he's looking in his lap? I don't know. It's neither square nor a smartphone picture. This is a smartphone picture, but I also think this is one of those times when you'd want to just crop it down. Uh, just zoom in with your phone. Go for a little off-center composition there. Sassy. Little and brave. I need that shirt. Where'd you get it? Yeah. That's cute. The crop on the hands is a little bit awkward. But I feel like you need to save the t-shirt logo I like logo this picture. There, She's so. cool. Nicely done. Uh, this is wonderful. Yeah, this is a fantastic, fantastic shot. Great angle. Just a perfect kind of Instagram shot. You I would definitely it. give that a heart. Give it a heart. Let's be fair. Speaking of hearts, they're... Oh, my gosh. This is obviously kind of formed Get a room, kind of heart. swans. And I appreciate that you did this with an iPhone because those swans can be scary. You must have had to get close. Yeah. They will chase you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely Maybe they're done. friends with them. Oh, they went for the reflection oh, shot. I love the reflection shot. So captured shot. all the mood, the beach, the water, the, the beach, sun. The beach, the peoples. Shot. Oh, it's in sunglasses. I it's don't know why in, I didn't oh, get God. that right away. You so just... fantastic storytelling. Everything. Sexy. There's a bridge. There's a sexy lady. You won. Nicely done. You won. <laughs> Even better than a sexy lady. <laughs> a sexy dog. Another great example of storytelling here. You know exactly what's going on. The... the Person must have a stick or something that's going to throw. Like, yeah. dog seems really excited. This is very cool. Yeah. Where is this? I don't know, but this Justin. spot is really I have no idea. Take me there. <laughs> this is just great. Yeah, classic Instagram kind of simple shot. Oh my gosh, great it's composition. Beautiful. Nicely done. Saw that one earlier. This is beautiful. Yeah, another kind of abstract shot. One of my favorite shots to do with the smart. Phone tells a little bit about where you are, but it's all about the texture and the I light and the stairs. color. It doesn't require Whoa, anything this special. This light is blowing my mind. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if there were a person in the shot, it might be that one extra thing, but the light here is just so gorgeous. And black and white works perfectly. Perfectly processed, it. too. Nicely done. Good eye. This Niagara? Uh, I, it certainly could be. It's a waterfall, guys, and I love yeah, it. It's a huge waterfall. <laughs> they have a little boat there. For I scale. Love, I love boats. You need something like that or you wouldn't know just how big it is. Great shot. An orchid. I like yeah. it a lot. Close up of an orchid. And these cameras, the smartphones especially, do tend to focus really closely. So take advantage of that. Yeah. Get it nice and tight. Good. Wow. We have so many good pictures today. Yeah. This just proves you don't need the best Beautiful gear lines to get a good picture. Yeah. That's kind of what I wanted to, to cover. Especially like to cover. That's why I did this. Elements of <laughs> Composition that are specific to smartphones. <laughs> nice lines there. Could use a person in it. Um, so here they have like a classic travel photo, and they process it in a way to make it seem like it's from like the 70s or 80s. Like it looks a little aged. It looks, it looks like cool. a print to me. So they kind of went with that. The vintage look. Yeah, like I a love postcardy. It. Oh my gosh, this is a flower with your um, Twitter picture in it. Is that Twitter? I don't know. Maybe it's Instagram. Oh, maybe it's Instagram. That's very, very interesting that you did that. <laughs> Look at these ladies. 
That that's definitely an eye catching shot. I don't know what the story is, but it, it makes me uncomfortable. Eye. Like I move my head back instinctually because I would hate to be that close to another person. Uh -huh. It's like when you're trying to talk to a close talker and you just keep moving back, but they keep following you. You're like, bro, I'm uncomfortable. Stop doing this to me. Yeah, I think we can all relate. What is? Have I'm you seen this weird you. thing that? What? I don't know, Lightroom's doing a weird thing where it shows the picture and then it stretches it. I haven't noticed that before. Stupid Lightroom. Okay, so that's neither Instagram nor a smartphone picture. This is great. Yeah, I like this too. Nice, solid, white background, abstract. Whew. Okay, we got through our first import. We're over time already. Why don't we toss it back to Siobhan, see if we have any more questions. Siobhan, tossing it back to you. And we can enjoy our yep. sandwich. I don't... Did you give me a cupcake? No, I just... That's... You ordered a sandwich, Chelsea. Um, someone, Sean, was saying that, Chelsea, you should try the South African accent. Um... He wrote down something for you to say, but for me to read that to you, I would have to say it, so that's not going to happen. I actually had a professor that taught us some Afrikaans, and I don't remember any of it, but maybe I could brush up on my Afrikaans for you. Cool story. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Do you use color passports, and if yes, when? Just when we're traveling. Wait, what? Color passports? Yeah. What is... I don't know what that is. It's... I don't know. I actually don't know. I yeah, guess. my first thought was passports to travel, but I figured that was not what it meant. Oh. Oh. No, I, I just, I, I've never really found the need for it. Like, most shots will have something white in it if you need to manually balance the color. Mm -hmm, but I also mm -hmm. just generally have a good eye for balancing the color, so you I've just do. never found a need for it. You have a good eye for balancing color and leveling things. <clears throat> That's true. I have a natural level. You do. I don't. Okay, next question. Okay. Um, please ask Tony when his NX1 review is coming out. <laughs> I don't know. We have this huge backlog. We We're have so tired. the EM5 Mark II, the Pentax KS2, the NX1, and now we have these two cameras, plus we have a bunch of lenses and flashes and stuff. We're so far behind, uh, but we have to finish up the Lightroom book. And then we We're have a new done. edition of SDP. Yeah. So it's going to be a couple of weeks. And then a Photoshop book. Yeah, well, we can work on some hardware before we <laughs> crank into that book. So, sorry, the NX1 does seem fantastic, though. It does. It focuses like crazy, especially for a mirrorless <laughs> camera. Great for sports. Sorry, we're so behind. Siobhan? What else you got? Have you guys tried the Uber Pro cams from Nikon, Canon, the D3, D4, and EOS 1D family? And if you sold a million LR6 books, cheap plug, would you be tempted versus the 5D and D810 you usually use? I've never been tempted by one of those things. We do have, we have a, a 1D something. EOS 1. Film camera. I have a film camera. Like and there that. is something nice. Yeah about just the weight of it and it focuses like crazy and it's fast like crazy and we've used the high-end Canon and Nikon cameras but I'm not tempted by them because they're low megapixel um, and they're very heavy. They heavy and I just don't need the extra weight and you know the, the higher frame rates and the faster focusing yeah. are nice for some things but I'm so happy with the 7D Mark II that I just don't feel the need. I like the D810 too. Yeah for me I'd rather have the extra detail. But I still want to sell the million Lightroom 6 books. Yes, we should do that. Yeah, we should Some do that. We should do people. that soon. What else, Siobhan? Is that it? Um, yeah, pretty much. You had a couple people who would totally take you up on the New York walk. Okay. Two, one. Give it to me straight. A couple. A, a few. Three, maybe. Um, I'll be there. Oh, that was Chris Henry's picture of the moon. It was attached to a Swarovski ATS. That sounds fancy. Nice. I think I need one of those. Um, and Iris thinks that Chelsea is a vampire, which is why she doesn't seem to age. How'd you know that? It's, we can't. <laughs> we can't comment on that. No, we can't. Of course. Can't talk about that. Uh, we, if we do meet up in New York, it will be at night. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I think we're wrapping it up. I couldn't find that We found cool. trucks. Yeah, all I found were trucks and 
Fun okay, stuff. so next week our topic is family pictures in honor of Mother's Day, which I don't know exactly when that is, but Tony, you should. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Okay, thanks Squarespace for sponsoring us. You make great websites possible, easy to use. They work on mobile devices. If you feel like making your pictures look awesome, go to squarespace.com slash Tony. You can try it out free for 14 days. And if you want to sign up and get your 10% off, use the coupon code photo news. We're here with Thursdays. At Thursdays five at 5 Eastern, Eastern, time, Eastern time, New week. York City. Submit pictures and we'll look at them live. Thanks so much, guys. See you next week. Bye. Thanks. Oh, that tuna, man. That stinks. That is all.